Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to smooth uh, XY line graph to make it more attractive. So if you can look at here, this is my original graph which is having lots of spikes and um, I want to make it nice to see the trend of data change. For that, there's an option in uh, Prism called smoothen the graph and this is what happens when you smooth the graph. And uh, what you are actually doing is averaging the da nearby data to make it uh, nice and smooth. So there's an option to average the number of data. Like in this case, I have averaged nearby two data. And in this case, I have averaged four da nearby data. And in this case, I have averaged 10 nearby data. So if you increase the number of averaging data, what happens, if the graph become more smoother and smoother, you have to uh, do try uh, several different uh, averaging and select the best out of that. So let's see how to do it. First, uh, you have to enter your data in XY uh, graph. You can take a new data table and select XY and uh, x values are already selected that is numbers and y value you can enter single y value or if you have uh, more than one replicate you can click on enter uh, y values and change the uh, number of replicates here then click on create that will open up this uh, sheet which has x values and y values and i'm going back to my data table in my sheet x values are the dates from 1 to 95 days and y values uh, belongs to two groups control group and experimental group uh, fed with two different diets and I measured their weight gain over 95 days and I want to um, enter this data into a xy uh, graph to show how their weight gain change over 95 days so for that um, once you enter data, you go to the graph column and click on the XY values and click OK. That will create the graph which is spiky. So, I, I of course, I can see the trend of data. Uh, the weight gain is uh, going down over the 95 days, but I want to make it smooth and see it's uh, the weight gain start from zero. I just don't want uh, it to start from zero which is it nice not nice or to remove it click on right click uh, and go to exclude values option and uh, if you click that that data will uh, remove from your set go back to the graph and see now it has removed the uh, values zero value from the graph uh, data set and uh, this uh, graph is uh, not very much suitable to uh, submit for the journal. So I'm going to show you how to smooth the data. Go to analyze and go to XY analysis. Sometimes you have to click on plus mark to uh, see the options. And go down to smooth and differentiate integrate curve. Click OK. So that will open up a, a, a dialog book. You don't have to worry about differentiating. Go to the smooth option. And select how much, how many numbers uh, you are going to average. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select two, and don't change anything else. Click OK, and that will generate new data set. And make sure that you don't do not use these values for any of your analysis because this is completely different from your uh, original data. These have average nearby two values, plus two data into uh, one to make your graph smooth so now go back to a uh, uh, new graph to plot this smooth data smooth data and uh, make sure that you select the correct uh, results and kind of graph should be xy uh, if you select column uh, you won't see the uh, line graph option click line graph click ok and this is your smooth data you can change the x and y value titles and other than that i'll show you how to make your graph nice go to the change tab and select change colors and uh, select prism dark that will give nice colors to your uh, lines uh, i prefer to keep it as prism dark 
and let's see how to change the values on x-axis because I want to um, appear as 10, 20. Uh, double click on the x-axis which will open up a new uh, dialog box and you can do the same thing to y-axis as well and under that uh, the auto uh, you can see that is ticked automatically determine the range you have to untick it and then minim change the minimum and maximum I'm happy with 0 to 100 and change the major ticks to 10 and minor ticks to 5 and of course you can apply these changes first and see whether it is ok if you don't like the change you can without clicking uh, ok you can change the other uh, change your settings and if you are happy you can click ok and if you want to uh, resize or make it bigger you can go to uh, change again resize it then you can drag the x axis you can do these same changes to y-axis as well and if you feel that these uh, lines are thinner you can make it thick as well double click on the lines this will open up a different dialog box which allow you to uh, format the lines I'm happy with the uh, color so I'm not going to change the colors of the lines but if you want to change both lines together click on the drop down menu uh, arrow and change all data set whatever the changes you are now doing will appear on the both lines so I want to make the lines thicker go to the show uh, line uh, and change it to 1pt again apply and see whether you are happy with the change and if you if so you can click ok and I'm going you can just click on the title and change the title as well since I average 2 nearby data here I change it to 2 data average and let's do 4 data average now go back to your original data analyze XY analyzes mood ok and in this case uh, I want to compare the uh, different uh, smoothening so I want a new result sheet uh, and, and click, I have clicked there if you want to change the same uh, graph or same, same uh, research sheet, you can uh, select the second option. In this case, I am going to average 4 nearby data. Click OK. And this create a new research sheet to identify uh, it properly, from uh, different from the first one. I am going to rename it. Just double click on the name of the research sheet and type. So you need a uh, new graph to show the uh, second smoothening the table has automatically selected uh, to the new research sheet xy line ok and this is what appear when you smooth or oh, average 4 nearby data and you can do the same changes I'm not going to change the x axis in this case So let's uh, next we do the 10 data averaging 10 data. Repeat the same options. Again, you need new research sheet, and this time we are going to average 10 nearby data. Click OK, and you need new graph again. Rename the research sheet as 10 to identify it. Click on new graph. And that has automatically selected our new research sheet. Again, I'm going to do the formatting and renaming the titles. So, if you uh, want to compare these uh, three graphs in one plane, uh, you have to go to layout. Uh, so, the data tab contain all your data sets and uh, then results gives you all the analysis results you do and under graphs you can see the graphs you are creating and the layout you can compare four values go to click to uh, lay go to layout and click on new layout that will open a new dialog box you can change the orientation of your page portrait or landscape i, I prefer landscape and you can change the background color I'm going to select gray color to the uh, background as the background color 
and then you can uh, see change the array of graphs that means how many graphs you are uh, getting uh, in a horizontal way and across by you that means you are getting four uh, two graphs uh, vertically uh, or else it has a predetermined arrangement that you can just click and select um, um, I'm going to keep it as 2 by 2 because I already have 4 graphs to compare. So this will open up a new uh, sheet where you have to double click on each box to in insert uh, your graphs. So first one I need my original data set. Click OK to show you the spiky graph. But I feel something wrong has happened here because um, I not only 2 lines, I see several lines. So let's see how how to correct it um, if, if you want to do the changes always you have to go back to your original graph and do the changes there because you can't do any changes on layout so we'll go back to our original uh, data set data one not the data set you have to go to your uh, first graph as I assume it, it is already containing the smooth graph overlapping on my original graph so I want to remove the rest of the graphs leaving my original two lines double click on the line sorry it's taking too much time then go to the this is the same dialog box that you uh, click on to um, uh, still change the line colors, go to second tab, data sets on graph, click on that, and then um, these two are my original uh, lines or original data. The rest is um, I don't want the rest to appear on my graph, so you can click on that and uh, click on remove. So, thereby, you can remove the uh, data from your graph and if it is a bar graph and if you want to change the order of the uh, bars you can always click on uh, top and up to change the order of your bar graph in this case I just want to remove the data and click apply and see whether you did the correct thing and if you are happy you can click on ok and I'm going to make it uh, beautiful a little bit by applying colors to the lines. And now we'll go back to our layout and see, yes, that changes uh, appearing on my layout graph as well. So the second, uh, I need to apply the two data average graph. Just click OK. And next, I need four data average smoothing. And then the 10 data average graph. So now you can easily compare, but uh, I'm not happy with my background color. I'm going to change it back to white. Uh, you can always drag and change the order or uh, change the size of the graphs uh, in layout. So I'm going to keep my original data on left hand side and smooth curves on the uh, right hand side. So you can compare. Um, your graphs and select the best one out of uh, all these smoothing graphs. So smoothing uh, is a smoothing is a way that uh, you make your lines attractive and uh, to see the trends that you can't uh, visualize in the spiky uh, graphs. But uh, make sure that you do not use this norm uh, smooth data for your further analysis. I hope you learned something out of this and uh, thank you so much for watching.